that all of you who want to really, really be successful, you must, you absolutely must, You absolutely must take 100% what? Responsibility. What does that mean? Yeah, responsible for your action. What else? What does it mean? Take 100% responsibility. What does it mean? If you fail, it's you, and if you succeed, it's you. Yeah, right. So you have to take 100 not 10%, not 20 that means 100%. That means you have to quit blame. Complain. You have to quit all these things. It's hard, isn't it? Do you still want to be successful, guys? Yes. yes. Are you sure? Yes. yes. I don't think so, guys. Yeah, are you sure? Yes. Oh, yes, you do. <laughs> so, take 100% responsibility. If you cannot get this, it's not the government, okay? It's not your government. It's not your president. Of the country, okay? It's you. The result you the results you have in your life, you have produced them. I just showed you the law of manifestation, how it all came to your reality. It's you who produces your results. It's not the bad government. It's not the recession. It's not anything. It's not. It's not your friend or your wife or your husband. You and only you produce your results in your life. <coughs> no one else does. Nobody else does. If you sit down and say, ah, my boss is such a bastard. He underpaid me. He keep paying me this salary for five years. Bastard. <laughs> is your boss, boss's, uh, is it his fault? Or maybe it's because you failed to take some courage to walk in through the doors and say, I want to have a two minutes with you. I think I'm really done well on this, this, and this. I've just done this, this, and this. Do you think I'm a great employee or not? Is he going to say no? He's going to say yes. Say, so do you think that I deserve my salary? Yes. Do you think I deserve more? <laughs> then you take your courage and ask for what? For a pay rise. But do not sit and blame your boss, or the government, or the anything else that doesn't give you. Quit. Take hundred percent responsibility. Hundred percent. How much, guys? One hundred percent. It's one hundred percent. You have to quit blaming and complaining. You have to take one hundred percent. Anything happens, you have to remember that every result I produce is me. It's my thought because I wasn't careful, I was not controlling my thoughts, I was letting myself think this. It's all got down to my subconscious mind that started producing it, everything in my uh, manifesting in my life. Once you understand this, it's going to be so cool and easy for you because you're going to realize it's me. It's, you're going to stop coming up with excuses you give yourself. Oh, I'm not making a lot of money because I wasn't born in a rich family. Guys, I wasn't born with a silver spoon in my mouth, neither. I was not. My parents, they both don't have education. They don't have, they, they both thought, oh, I'm gonna just get married and live in the village and all this. It's me who produce my own results. Do you understand? Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so it's, you have to take 100% responsibility. So, if you wanna be successful, Another thing is very, is very important is that you have as you have what? Certainty. certainty. Yeah, it's very important that you have a certainty. Why is it important to have a certainty? A certainty. Why? Why is it important? Takes away fear. <laughs> yeah, it would maybe take away fear partly, but it will help you what? To do what? To keep, keep going. To keep going, yeah. You need a certainty. So, um, my first seminar, I did my first seminar in 2005. 
Do you know how many people came? Ten, exactly ten people. There was ten people. What I did is when I came to London, when I was doing one of the courses, I was still working as a... I think I was doing the waitressing job at that time. I did all sorts of, you know, all jobs. And I was doing waitressing and I went to one of the seminars and they taught us all how to do, how to do their business plan. I thought I know it all. So I went back to my country and said, I'm going to do a seminar on how to do the business plan and start up. Can you believe this guy? So I went and I said, what are we going to do guys now? So I, I, I phoned my friends and I said, you're going to help me out. This is what we're going to do. We're going to print out the leaflet saying this seminar is going to uh, be on this time and this day. So you come over. So I come to my uncle. My uncle is... He's the one who actually influenced a lot in me since I was growing up because he's very entrepreneurial of mind and he never would give me money if I don't deserve it. He would ask what I need money for because I grew up, my, fa my parents used to live in a village so my uncle used to live in a city and he used to, he took me, um, when I started growing he said, do you want to do school in the city rather than in the village? I said, yeah, sure. So I came to the city and living with my uncle was very tough. So he would ask every time, he'd give me the money, he would ask, what do you need the money for? He wouldn't just give me the money. So I said, uncle, you know, you have this office, can I, can I use your office just for one day on Sunday? I said, why do you need? I said, I'm doing the seminar. I said, what seminar are you doing? I said, I'm doing a seminar on a business startup. Do you know how to start up the business? I said, well, I've learned. <laughs> So he said, so what are you going to do? I said, I'm gonna, I have already people coming over and stuff this. So the leaflets were dropped off in the, uh, you know those flats that you have here, been built uh, when the Soviet Union was, yeah, yeah? those uh, flats. So we dropped off the leaflets and everything, and um, the day come, I was excited, the flip charges there, everything. So we have 10 people in the room, and out of these ten, 10 people, I have one paying customer. Because what happened, the one, when one customer turned up, I said, guys, it sucks. I need to do something to my friends. I said, hey, we can't leave this room empty. you got to sit down and pretend that you're a participant. I put my, so it was 10 people in the room. Three of them were my friends. One was my brother, another was his wife. Uh, another one was uh, the neighbor who called, so in total we had 10 people in the room. It was a complete and utter flop. It's the big flop. But guys, why didn't I, after it finished, I said, damn. That was embarrassing, and I thought, I thought I was this big business lady, I can do anything. Suddenly, there was nothing, nothing happened. It was 10 people and one paying customer, and all the show was put up for one paying customer. And then I thought, did, I, did it stop me, guys? No. No, because I had what? Certainty. I had certainty in my head that I'm going to make it no matter what. I had this certainty in myself that this is just a step that I need to take. So you have to embrace, you have to embrace your failure. You have to learn to embrace the failure. You have to embrace the failure. So I didn't stop there. When I was a student, when I was still at um, university, I was 17, I once came to my uncle and said, Uncle, you're such a good entrepreneur, I want to be like you. Can you give me 100 bucks? Because I want to start a business. And he said, what business do you want to start? I said, well, <coughs> I did this research, market research, and apparently I can go buy those um, bell pepper, you know, like bell pepper, and then when you marinate it, marinate it and then sell it to those people who in the restaurant. Then they make some food out of whatever, whatever they do. And uh, the markets. How many of you know that? How many of you do the marinade and pepper, right? I don't know here, maybe in the store or not, but back home we have this, uh, they, do, they use it for Asian food. They, they buy those markets, people, they buy the pepper in bulk, in the buckets, 
and then they sell it one by one to people. So I thought, wow, I said, uncle, if you give me 100 bucks, I'm going to go and get four, um, four, 40 or four, 40 or four, 45, something like that, sacks of pepper, right? Bell pepper. <coughs> so I got all this pepper. I said, what are you going to do? I said, don't worry about this. I'm going to return to you your money, and I'm going to make my own money. I thought I was a businesswoman. So I'm 17, and I came. I came to my friend. I said, Rashida, guess what? She said, what? I said, I have 100 bucks. She said, for what? I said, we're going to do business. So what kind of business we're going to do? I said, I have this idea. Let's go buy those bell pepper, 45 sacks, and we're going to sell them. We're going to marinate them together. And then when they're ready to marinate, we're going to sell them to those people in the market. She said, oh, wow, cool. Let's go. So we buy the pepper. We sit down all night. We sit in there marinating the pepper. And the bag is going marinate the whole bag all night. And she said, Are you sure it's gonna work? I said, Of course, keep going. She said, I don't know, you know, I'm so tired. I said, Don't give up. Let's do it. Let's keep doing it. She said, oh, No, I don't. And I said, Let's do it. So we finished marinating the whole, it, was, it came out of a big bucket. I said, Wow, we're gonna be so rich. I did. I thought I'm gonna be so rich. So. So I went. So I said, we need to wait. She said, how long? I said, one week. So after one week, we opened the thing, ready. Time to make what? Money. I said, let's go. So we take the thing, take the car, and this guy said, can I borrow the car, let me drive. So we go to the market and start, I came to the lady and said, hello, you, you're selling this, do you want to buy the pepper? I said, how much? I said, well, it's only like, I don't know, it was 10 or, Eight dollars for the kilo or something. We're selling it uh, basically in, in pairs, two, three uh, things in one. And then she said, Ah, no, not interested. Then we go another one, not interested. The third one, no, no need. Not interested, too expensive, no need. So we go one day, nobody bought a single thing. We go second, I said, Shit, what am I going to do? <laughs> so we go another, and, she, and the, my friend said, You know what? I said, So sorry, but you know. You're on this on your own. I guess there is nothing that's going to come out of this. So she left. So here I left, and I'm thinking, damn, how am I going to go home and tell my uncle if business didn't work? What am I going to say to him? And then I started, I said, I'm not going home tonight until I sell something. So I started driving all the markets, coming to all the ladies. And guess what, guys? One lady said, okay, I'll take it over 80. I said, everything, the whole part. Uh, first, I said, I want to sell you the whole thing for only $400. She said, what, $400? I'm going to give you 20 I said, you're crazy. She said, okay, 50 I said, give me 80 and that's yours. <laughs> so she gave me 80 guys. I was like, happy. I thought, yes, I'm coming home. I'm giving my uncle 20, uh, 80 bucks. He looks and something is missing. I said, Uncle, I only made 80 pounds. He said, 80 dollars. He said, Congratulations on your first loss. <laughs> that was my business experience. Did it stop me, guys? No. no, because I'm embracing my fail. I said, Hey, now I know that you have to do good market research. You need to see the demand. You need to do this. So I learned from my mistakes, and then I go back and do it again. Only what? Better. Yes? Yes? Yes. So turn to the person to, to next to you and say, you have to embrace the failure. Yeah, 
I knew what I wanted. What else? Big Y. What is it? Big Y. Yes, I had my big wives, yeah, they, they were different at that time. <laughs> they were different, I wanted to go to MTV. I would want to be in MTV, you know. So, it's a bit different, but what else? Experience. Experience, yeah. So how do you get the, that certainty when you believe, when you know it's just going to happen? How do you, actually, how do you get it? To get certainty, guys, thank you. You're gonna have to see the end result in your head. That's what's gonna give you a certainty. Write it down. You have to, you must see the result that you want in your head. You must see the result. Stallone. 
Yeah? Uh, how many of you know the Rocky? How many of you watched Rocky? Uh, so Sylvester Stallone is a very famous Hollywood actor, right? Yes? So he has a story about the Rocky when he created a film Rocky and he acted in it himself, right? Yes? yes. So Tony Robbins interviewed him once ago. So there are lots of things uh, talking about how Rocky was filmed and all this. And, um, and Tony Robbins, what he did is he invited her and said, you know, Sylvester, can you tell me what's the, really the story behind the Rocky? What's really happened? How did you do this thing? So what happened is when Sylvester Stallone, what Sylvester Stallone <coughs> had is certainty. He had such a big certainty. He just knew that he has to be in a business, in a movie business. He has to be an actor. He's seen himself in, as an actor way, way, way before he became an actor. So what he did is he he started, he refused to get a job. Guys, just said he refused to get a job. He got married, he had a wife, but he just was going every single day. One agency, another agency, third agency, no, 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 no. People say, agency, agents are saying, who's gonna employ you? You're crazy, you're talking about that. You know, he smiled, yeah? <laughs> Sylvester, you're talking about marketing like that, nobody's gonna give you a role. He was getting no after no after no after no. no. He was getting. And he thought, but he had this, he refused his wife. He had a fight every single day with his wife. He said, go get a job. He refused to get a job. He was going. And once he came to this agency and he sat down and the, the, the uh, producer, well, he refused to see him. But before, I'll tell you before, what happened just before that, um, he was so broke, he was completely broke, he didn't have a penny in his pocket, he didn't have, um, so basically once he even went and he had to sell his wife jewelry, and he sells to Tony, Tony, one thing you should never do. <laughs> and that was the end of the relationship between him and his wife. His wife left, she did, she, she did not believe in him, she left him. So, so the point, he, the lowest point of his life, he was broke, he, he hardly had any money to pay his rent, he didn't have the money to pay the utility bill, because, so it was cold in his room. So uh, at some point he had to go to the library to sit down and warm up himself, because it was so cold in his room. So Sylvester Stallone comes to the library, he sits, this, he sits and thinks about his life and what's going on. And suddenly he saw the book lying on the table. Someone just who read before, sitting there before, they left the book on the table. So he picks up the book and he starts reading it. <coughs> so he's reading the book. It was the book it was uh, by Edgar Poe. But there was the interesting thing, Edgar Poe, he's like, he writes some kind of mystical, I don't know, how many of you know Edgar Poe? Few of you know, yeah? So he, he found that book, Edgar Poe, and he started reading it. So as he read it, he started to come up with ideas. He thought, wow. He read it and it influenced him. He said, you know what? I can write these kind of stories. And he said that he went home and he was so inspired by this book, Edgar Poe. And he, he goes home, he runs, he comes home, he just turns it over and he sits and writes 20 hours non-stop the script for Rocky. He didn't, he said he didn't go to sleep, he didn't eat, he didn't do nothing. 20 hours he was writing the script, writing the script. Rocky. That's how Rocky was born. They he said, I must be an actor in Rocky. I want, he wanted to act. He came, he offered his script, people said no, no, no. And once he came to the agent, they said, we want your script and we want to buy it. <coughs> for $115,000. Wow. There was a huge amount of money at that time for Sylvester. <coughs> I said, okay, good. 
but I want to be an actor in it. They say, are you joking? You're a writer. No, I'm an actor. You're a writer. No, I'm an actor. You're a writer. Then you're not getting my script. They said, are you crazy? Are you insane? You, de you decline this amount of money? And before this happened, just before, the day before, what happened is he was so penniless that he had to go and sell his dog. And he, that dog was like his best friend. That dog was like, the dog was here, they're always with them. Do you know like when they, you see homeless people always, look, who do they have dog, right? i never seen a homeless person with a cat, you know? <laughs> but, you know? So, but that was a dog and it was always with him. So it was his best friend. It was like he, he, he said he loves me unconditionally. I like my wife. That dog really loves me. And he, and he, he has this, he didn't have a choice. So he comes to this place where they had a show and he, and he, he sells the, his dog to this man. And he takes uh, twenty-five dollars for it. And he says, "When I sold my dog, I went out and I cried, cried, uh, because that desperate he was. He didn't have a penny in his pocket. So the script comes through, and he says, 'I'll give you hundred and fifteen thousand dollars for your script.' <coughs> and then he says, 'If I'm not in it, you are not getting my script. I have to be the main actor. I have to be the Rocky.'" And they said, you know what they said? They said, okay, you're so stubborn. If you're so stubborn, we'll pay you 35,000 because we need to take all the risk. Who's gonna watch you? <laughs> so we're gonna pay $35,000, so you're gonna be in risk with us. It's a deal. He said, it's a deal. That's how he was in Rocky. And then Tony asked him, so he says, um, Sylvester, so when you got this all this money, it's like a lot of money, especially when you're penniless and some, suddenly you have so much money. What was the first thing that you did? What is the first thing that you really wanted to do? And he said, yes, he went back and he, he hoped, he went back to that store where he found that, that man bought his dog and he was standing there every day. And the, the third day the man comes up with the dog, his dog says, oh, thank you. He says, oh, please, hi, do you remember me? Yeah, of course I remember you. Your dog is good. I love the dog. My best friend said, no, 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 wait. Um, you know, I was desperate at that point. I needed to sell my dog. It's my best friend. I cannot live without my dog. Please, can you, can I buy it of you? Can I give you 100 bucks for my dog? And he said, oh, you're crazy. That's my, that's my dog now. It's my best friend. I'm not selling it. He said, please, it matters so much to me. This dog is so much. Can I give you 500? And the man goes, no, I'm not selling the dog. The dog is not for sale. Done. He said, okay. So Tony is asking, how much you paid? Fifteen thousand dollars and the roll in the rocket. Yeah, that man got roll in the rocket. <laughs> <laughs> That man is in the rocket, and as well as the dog. <laughs> Fifteen grand it cost him to get his dog. And that man is in the rocket. So, so Sylvester had this what? Certainty. His certainty was big. He just knew. He knew he's gonna become an actor. Period. <coughs> Nothing else that he wanted. He wanted to become an actor. In fact, first role that he got it was what? But when he finally got a role. It was 22nd role as a thug on the streets who got beaten up because no one thought that he's going to play any roles as a hero. He's got a role, 22nd role as a thug. So guys, this kind of certainty I'm talking about. Get this the certainty when you know you have. That's all you know. He said, Tony's asking, so why didn't you get a job, even temporary job? Why? Why? He goes, because I knew if I'm going to get a job, I'm going to get a job. Comfort is the biggest killer of become. If you're comfortable, you will never do what you have to do. You have to become uncomfortable. He knew. That's why he refused to get any job. He refused. He refused because his certainty was big. Why? Because he saw the end. What? Result. Result. Result in his head. He 
big. So if your third about your potential certainty is high, it's big. Let's say you're gonna say, you know what, I'm gonna become like a who's the biggest star? I don't know. Name. The singer. Huh? Okay, Gandhi style. Okay. <laughs> that time became quick, very quick, by the way. So if you have that kind of certainty, what's gonna happen to your action? Are you gonna take big or small? Big. Big or small, guys? Big. 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 What's gonna happen to your results? Are they gonna, gonna be small or big? Big. Results are gonna be big. And what is gonna do to your belief now? It's gonna go higher. Up. Up. You're gonna say to yourself, I told myself that I can do it. I told myself that I can do it. And your belief is going to go up. And then it's going to confirm your potential. And it's going to go again in the round circle, only in a different pattern. Only in a different pattern. How many of you understand what I mean? Say yes. 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 So I want to take two minutes quickly and discuss what you learned, because we're about to complete that. Take two minutes and discuss and begin.
So yes, you have to you have to have this kind of attitude that I'm gonna make it no matter what. You have to commit to your growth. You have to do what it takes for you to take yourself to the next higher level. Because what happens is in everyday life, what happens is when you lose the motivation, when you go back to your old life, when you do the same things you've been doing, it's gonna year gonna go after year, after year, and after year. Nothing is changing. Yes, you come to the, this event and then you do nothing and then it continues. And then your potential just remains undiscovered. You live a mediocre life. You get stuck in the everyday routine and the everyday things and then you, you get used to it and then you accept it as your reality. You accept it as your reality and you don't want to do anything. They, they will, some people say it comes a time when they just decide no more. I don't want anymore. It's good to get fed up and angry when you want to say, that's it, I'm going to change my reality. I had enough. This is good. When you don't give up, when you say, I'm going to go and keep doing and do whatever it takes for me to succeed. Whatever it takes. Means 100%. Means seeing the opportunity and recognize that, go for it. Your life does not, it doesn't take guys 10 years to change your life. It does not take five years to change your life. It takes a single moment, guys. A single moment and your life can change. When? When you make the decision. And you say to yourself, that's it enough. I need to take myself there. In a single moment, life can change. By single decision, life can change. Life can be transformed. When I was sitting at the MMI, I keep saying a millennium mindset that you know, transformed my life. Because I was sitting there and they, they, I wanted to buy a course. I did not have money, but I ran <coughs> to the back and I started signing up. My husband said, Babe, I don't have the money. Where are you going? Just read the book. Why do you need to sign it up? I said, No, I want this. I, want, I know what it's going to do to me. So I went and I, I put the card where I don't have any the money there. But what happens when I went home, I became what? Resourceful because I needed to pay for it. So I started calling my friend, give me 50, 50 pounds, so this 50 pounds. So I raised the money quickly, put it in the bank, and the payment go through. So I got, managed to get into the course. And because of that course, that day I'm standing in front of you today. Because at one of those seminars, I met the uh, CEO of Success Resources that I work for now as a business development executive. Work together. She, uh, Veronica Tan, that's where I got my opportunity, my decision was made. She saw me, she recognized me, and that's how I came to work with Success Resources, which I'm very happy because I do what I love, I enjoy what I do. How many of you understand, yes? Yes. yes. How many of you would love to live that life and have happiness and this uh, fulfillment in your life? Yes? Yes. So is it okay if I share with you the, um, the course that Anthony Robbins developed, Unleash the Power, is it okay with your permission, yes? yes. So, um, so Anthony Robbins, how much do you think, guys, it would, would be, it would cost you to trade with Anthony Robbins, like personal one-on-one uh, -on -one coaching or something, like those uh, uh, presidents and athletes and all other people did, how much do you think it would cost you guys? A lot. Yeah, it would cost you a lot. In fact, that's right. Uh, it would cost you about thirty thousand. You do the euros, about thirty thousand euros a day at least. So um, I want to just introduce you um, the course that Tony develops. He he's very passionate, very adamant person on changing people's lives. The, the transformation happened right there at the event on the day. And I've seen it myself at the last event. The transformation happens right there. People walk out completely different people than they came. So he, as a as a very passionate person, he developed the program that is gonna let, uh, help people 
to, to attend, have people to actually take the chance and attend it and do the program so they can go and transform their own lives, not just to select a group of people who can afford it. How many understand what I mean? Yes? Yes. So if you could help me, um, Joel, to, to turn on the screen. Oh, turn on the lights. Okay. No need to turn on the lights now. <coughs> We can turn up the uh, lifestyle, yeah. So that. And those people start bringing out their popcorns and they were sitting on. So, the Anthony Robbins event. I think, I don't know, I don't do PowerPoints, but I can, I, I'm sure I can see. So, Anthony Robbins event, you can write it down, it's gonna be in May. London, uh, 10 to 13th of May in London, this year, the Tony Robbins event. Oops, what did I press? Press this one. Do I need to do this? <coughs> it should be. Flip. How do you use the flipper? Oh, it's the left one, eh? Okay. So, as you know, the Tony Robbins, he, he does this event, and he always says that you can have a new beginning, you can have a new life if you choose to. Um, as you know, the Tony Robbins is the worst, as I told you, number one success coach, and highest paid peak performance consult, who consulted really very diverse group of people, presidents, and prisoners, and gang members, and, and the athletes, like um, Andrea Gass, as I told you. And um, Oprah Winfrey has attended his um, one of his events, Unleash the Power with it. Can we have the lights just for yeah, we don't need the dimming. And um, the, Oprah Winfrey attended the event as well and she was talking that that was a big transformation for her. For her. How many of you know um, Oprah Winfrey? Yeah, she's very, she, uh, um, at the moment, she used to be, um, I'm not sure currently, but she used to be uh, the wealthiest woman on earth. The wealthiest woman on earth. The, ri the richest woman on earth. She came, she attended the, um, she attended the Tony Robbins seminar. And she did, she did, uh, because on day one, what's gonna happen is, you're gonna walk on hot coals. These calls, you're gonna walk just like this with many other people. You're gonna walk, you won't be surprised at what you can do. You will be surprised. It's the first day, you're gonna turn your fear into power. You're gonna overcome any fears that was limiting you all the time. All the, you're gonna, the potential that was stopping you. You're gonna learn how to reach your highest peak emotional, mental, and physical um, state for the success. Something that you're gonna learn, you're gonna be trained by Tony. Tony is gonna be there. It's completely different. The energy is just amazing. You cannot absolutely tell, explain it with your words because this is what's gonna happen the first day. You're gonna turn your fear into power. It's gonna be the, the full transformation. You're gonna walk on a hot course. This is our CEO, Richard Tan. This is a CEO, um, the, the husband of Veronica Tan, Richard Tan. So he, he was already very successful when he attended Tony's event. He was very successful. And um, he still went to the event and he sat down and, and he, he said, I, I remember this, I couldn't wait until the event finished because I wanted to go. He was already organizing seminars and he said he wanted to bring Bill Clinton to his event and he always was Fearful. Maybe he will say no, or maybe yes. So after the event, Tony's Jupiter event, what he did is, he's by the way, he's a friend with Robert Kiyosaki, they're good friends with Robert Kiyosaki as well. After he walked on a hot course, guess what happened, guys? He brought Bill Clinton as our speaker at his event. He did the huge event. He did this is the event in Singapore when it was over 10,000 people, guys, after attending the event, 10,000 people. Um, people came from all over the Asia and Europe just to see uh, Bill Clinton, he was a speaker, so he managed to do it. He completely transformed his fear into the power. He said, the moment I finished that event, I was like, Bill Clinton, this is my next speaker and I'm bringing him. 
So the day two, uh, day two and three, you're gonna uh, have the psychology of success conditioning. That means you're gonna learn how to design your ideal life. You will the, you will gain from Tony is gonna share with you the key strategies on how to create wealth. Uh, it, it's going to be regarding on what's the economy, what's the economic climate is, what's happening. You're gonna gain all the key strategies you need. You're gonna experience really the ongoing change in your life. It's going to be, you're gonna replace, he's gonna take your limiting beliefs that you have today. All your beliefs that are stopping you, that are holding you back. He's gonna take all your beliefs and he's gonna replace them with supporting a new beliefs right there at the event. You're gonna go through the process. I cannot reveal, I'm very, I'm talking right now and I'm scared that I'm gonna t uh, give away something that happens. I cannot because it's, if you attend it, I, I want you to experience it fully. So I don't want to tell you what's going to happen because it's the, 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 you go through the processes that are going to really do transformations on the day. And day four, it's all about living health. It's all about living health. You're going to enjoy. He, he, he's the master. You're going to learn on how to increase your energy with very little sleep. And what food, everything, they're going to... You're going to be trained, you're going to be the best at how to look after yourself and be very high energy, person with a very high... Does it take energy to make wealth? Yes? Yes. Yes or no? Yes? Yes. Does it take energy to be successful? Yes. Does it take energy to make money? Yes. yes. It does take an energy. So you're going to learn all the nutritional, psychological strategies to boost your immune system. Because most of the people these days, they have colds and flus and everything. So you have to, you're going to learn how to improve your health by 100%. So this is the event. This is, who is this, by the way? Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson, yeah. The, the very famous um, boxer who used to be. He attended it and he was like, yeah. It's a completely different person. Why? Because before it was all about what? He's physical, right? But now he learned how to use the mental focus, mental power, along with that. He said, I'm too old, I couldn't go, I couldn't. He attended and he said, and this gentleman said it was like I've gained my youth back. I became younger, like much younger than I was. He was full of energy. She said, I cannot afford the seminar fee. This is Anthony Hopkins. He, how many of you know Anthony Hopkins? Sorry guys. Yeah, Anthony Hopkins, he's a movie uh, movie star, right? So you gonna um, this is good. so uh, this is the seminar that Tony designed. It says how can you live your extraordinary life? How can how many of you would like to know how much would it cost you to attend the seminar? Yeah? You guys do euros here. So what we have is we have, I'm not going to tell you all the tickets, but I'm going to tell you the gold ticket to so UBW live event. It's going to be four and a half day event. It's going to be four and a half day event. Uh, 775 euros. You can also upgrade, you can upgrade if you like to VIP. And VIP, to 347 euros. If you want to upgrade to VIP and sit closer, because the gold one is a little bit further to the back. So if you want to sit right in front, get all the, uh, very close to the front, then you can get a VIP upgrade. You can also, do you remember I was talking about the Millionaire Mind Intensive Seminar? How many of you remember? Millionaire Mind Intensive Seminar? And uh, you can also get the, as a bonus, you can get a, you can get a Millionaire Mind Intensive Seminar, MMI. And it's going to cost you 2,047 euros. Uh, it's worth two, two, um, 247 euros, the MMI seminar. And also we have here the, um, the bonus that's worth 79.99. This is the interview. This is with um, 
Andy Robbins and Jay Abraham. Jay Abraham is considered number one business coach. He does all the business coaching. He's the most unique, ultimate business coach. So we have this um, DVD, um, uh, uh, so we have the CD that worth $79.95, guys. Is this class better than this, right? Yes? Yes, yes it is. So, what I want to do is, um, when I was coming here, I came and I spoke to Ron and I said, Ron, I really, I'm coming first time to Estonia. I really want your people to attend. I really want to make it affordable for everybody. And I was saying, I'm going to do something special. So when I was coming, I was talking to Veronica Tan, this you, and I said, Veronica, let's do something special for Estonians. Because it's a new market, we want to open it. Let's do something different, something that, that people can go and attend. Um, um, something that they, they will be able to afford more easily than this. What can we do? Let's do something special. Let's do something different. So I said to Roland, that, um, Roland, I'm going to do something very different um, today. So what I'm going to do is, but the thing is you have to understand one thing, guys. We, because the offer cannot be valid for everyone, we can only take 25 people today. For 25 people, we're gonna do, everyone else can go for this offer and can buy uh, today. But only for 25 people, because there is a um, limitation, and I'll tell you why is the limitation. For 25 people only, we, we, we're not gonna charge, you're not gonna pay 1775, you're gonna pay only 795. You're gonna pay 795. Also, what I'm gonna do for you, the upgrade, you're gonna get a free upgrade. You pay nothing, zero. So you're not gonna be gold, you're gonna be VIP customer. 795, you're gonna get a VIP seat. You're gonna be right in front, you're gonna experience everything, full power. MMI, three day intensive seminar, worth 279. Zero, nothing, you pay nothing, we pay for you. And you're gonna go get a VIP ticket. And not only one, we're gonna give you two VIP tickets. Why? Because we want your spouse, your partner to attend. How many of you know it's important to bring someone you love, right, with you? Yes. So we wanna give you a chance for you to bring someone you love, someone you love with you. So we're gonna give you two MMI, Millionaire Mind Intensive Seminar, which is the world's best money management seminar you could ever to attend. You could ever attend. This is the best money management seminar you could ever. It's going to be in March, in March, in London. Three day intensive seminar. You're gonna get two VIP tickets to that. Because you're gonna learn how to manage your money, then you're gonna go to unleash the power within to transform your life completely, guys. So you're gonna get two VIP tickets. And only, we have only nine. And only for nine, first nine people only. This is for 25, but we have only nine, we have nine of these, because this is what I brought, we had in the office, completely uh, sold out. We have this, Anthony Robbins, J. Abraham Duty. Only for nine first people, you're gonna get this for free. So you're gonna get all the package, and everyone today pays this price, 7950 euro, guys. This is for VIP. VIP gold event for Anthony Robbins event. So the, the event is going to be in May, 10th to 13th of May. So guys, to those of you who was thinking about the installment plan, thinking of breaking it into to do something, you get up and go to the bank right now. You go and sign up, speak to uh, Kadri. Kadri, can you wait so they see? This is Kadri, we have Roland. Roland, sure. So you go to them and you speak to them and you, uh, and you sign up to this. To those who sign up today, they're gonna get an offer. After that, everyone who are, after today, you are not gonna get this offer. Why? Because this is event special. This is an event special. And not to, to buy the VIP ticket is gonna cost you 2,000 pounds to come to Unleash the Power Within. So you're getting a really good event. So whatever you think right now, whatever thoughts are going through your mind, these are the thoughts that have been stopping you all your life. Because what's happened? 
I'm going to do finish my event today and go back to London and continue with my life. I'm going to continue with my life and I'm going to do what I love to do. But for many of you, this could be your chance, your decision. And why am I so passionate for you to go and sign up for the course? Because I know what is it going to do to you. When I was sitting in that room in the seminar, I was sitting there. You have to go to the back, guys. You have to go to the back of the room to sign up. Because when I was sitting, just like all of you, sitting here and thinking, What happened is, I would have missed out on my chance, I would have missed out on my decision. And what happened is I would go home and go to my old way of living. But what I did, I stood up and I went to sign up for the book. They, I remember like, just like now, the seminar cost 2,097 pounds. It was only 2,297 oh, pounds, 297 pounds. And uh, because I was so broke, because I was so broke, I thought, how am I going to afford it? How am I going to afford it? And when I stood up, my husband said, he hold my hand and said, Babe, but we don't have money. You can try to read a book. And I said, I need it. I felt I needed it. So I went to the back and I signed up and I didn't have the money. But what happened is, that seminar transformed my life. It did. It changed completely the way I look and think about the money. How I manage my money. It changed everything to me. It made, because of that single decision I made, it changed my life. Because we people are tend to easily spend money on other things, like petrol and clothes and holidays, but we find it harder to go to invest in ourselves to go and get the course, the program. Why is it? Because we simply, we, we, we condition this way. We didn't get used to investing in ourselves. But this is your biggest asset that you have. And I'm very passionate, I'm still talking, because I know that after you attend the event in May, you're gonna say, I remember Sal, I remember how passionate he was saying and sending me. And I'm so, so proud of doing this. I wanna just play for you the testimony. The testimony from someone who attends, by the way, how many of you have attended seminar before? I have a few people. I had a few people. I'm going to play a testimony for you, share. Something from the people who attended it. My husband passed away, he died in December. So I was about 50 pounds over My business folded within six weeks. I was the person that life happened to instead of you being in charge of your life. I had a certain fire in my belly when I was younger. The fire's gone and it's, it's time to get the fire back. When the opportunity presents itself to you, 
And when the opportunity is there facing you, and if you keep telling yourself a story that why I cannot do this, then that's how your life is going to continue. You're going to be doing it every time to yourself. Because I bet the reasons you're giving yourself as to why you're not going to be in that course are the reasons you've been telling yourself all your life. Why I'm still talking here? Why I'm like this? Why am I passionate? I'm looking at you in your eyes. Because I know what it takes, how it feels when your life completely changes. I know I've been there. I've been there to that lowest point when I didn't have a penny in my account. I've been there and I know how it feels. I've been in your place. I knew, I was thinking, I was dying, I was thinking, how am I going to do this thing? But it was the best thing that happened to me was that event on the day when I attended, the three days. <laughs> what is going to do to you, to your life, to your family? and to your children. Because what you're going to take away with you from that event, you're going to pass it on to your kids. You're going to pass it on to your kids. If I was you, I wouldn't miss out on this opportunity. Because you might not see me talking again in Estonia, maybe one day in somewhere else, but here right now, today, I'm here with you for a reason. I'm talking to you for a reason. You're seeing me, you're listening to me right now, you're in this room right now for a reason. There is nothing happens by chance. Nothing in life happens by chance. Nothing. Everything happens for a reason. You are here in this room for a reason. There is a, as I told you, it does not take five years or three years to change your life. It takes a single moment. A decision can transform the life. A decision. One single decision can transform your whole life. You don't miss out on the opportunities. You don't miss out because the opportunities you miss are countless. And you ask yourself a question, how many, how long am I going to do this to myself? How long am I going to come up with excuses as to why I cannot do this, as to why I cannot afford that or that? But the investment you're going to make today is going to be the best investment you've ever made in your life. I'm telling this because I've lived it, I've done it, and I've been to all our events myself. And I know what they've done to me. And most importantly, I know what they're going to do to you. What are they going to do to your life? To your future? Because it doesn't matter what happened yesterday. It doesn't matter what you were doing yesterday. How many mistakes and this you've done. What matters is what you do today. That's what matters the most. It matters that you break your pattern today. How many times you're gonna take a seat back, sit back and just miss out on opportunities while others going for their dreams? I saw your face today, I saw that what you want, I saw that you're very, very adamant to go and get what you want. And by the way, those who left already uh, missed out on one more opportunity. A surprise, I left it on purpose till the last moment. Why? Because some people they just go halfway. Why? Because they're scared, they're not sure what other people are going to think about them. They don't think, they think that's it, and they don't go, they don't go through finish line. They just go to finish line, and the finish line is right here. What they do? They go back. And they lose. What you do is when you see the finish line, you go through finish line. So I want you to look under your seat right now, whoever left. I did it on purposely, I wanted to see. Just look under your seat, whoever left sitting here. What can you find to see? Just look under your seat. You might miss it out. Did anyone find anything? There is something, I promise you that. If you keep sitting, if I was you, I would have looked. Did anyone find Thank <laughs> you.